Coming to you from our GIS studios, I am Anicia Antoine and this is your Midday News Brief. Minister of Tourism, Information and Broadcasting, Culture and Creative Industries and Parliamentary Representative for Ancillary Canaries, Honorable Dominic Fede, has collaborated with Monroe College and the National Apprenticeship Program to provide hospitality training to over 50 young persons from the constituency over the next 14 weeks. Monthly stipends will be provided to trainees to assist with transportation. The parliamentary representative also made a commitment to award the top five performers with $1,000 each as an added incentive. The latest performance report for St. Lucia is in and the record-breaking streak in visitor arrivals to the acclaimed destination continues. According to the St. Lucia Tourism Authority, SLTA, the island can now boast that seven out of the eight months thus far have recorded unprecedented growth in visitor arrivals. An impressive total of 36,342 stayover arrivals was recorded in August 2019, marking the largest number of arrivals ever recorded for that particular month. Double-digit increases were recorded in three main markets, US with 13%, UK with 12% and Canada with 17%, resulting in an overall increase of 6.4% from the figures recorded in August 2018. Yet to date, two key markets are trending upwards, led by the UK market with an 11% growth in arrivals and the US with 9%. On Monday, October 14, 2019, St. Lucia joined the international community in observing World Standards Day. As part of activities, the St. Lucia Bureau of Standards hosted a seminar for stakeholders in one of the fastest growing sectors in the economy. The beauty and wellness sector in St. Lucia is guided by four standards, a general code of practice, one specific to spas, one for hairdressers and barbers, and one for tattoo parlors. The standards look at the minimum requirements that ensure that practitioners operate in a hygienic way. As part of the observance of World Standards Day, the St. Lucia Bureau of Standards held a seminar with those who operate in that sector to educate them on these standards as well as a certificate program for the sector. World Standards Day was held under the theme, Video Standards Create a Global Stage. This has been your Midday News Brief. Thank you for watching.